Today I want to show you five different moves that you can use in a game and they will actually work. If you've seen some of the other tutorials I've done on beating defenders or using moves, they're all very simple and effective. Why? Because it actually works in the game. I don't care about fancy skills. I care if you can actually beat a player with that move consistently every time you're out there on the field. So these five moves I'm gonna show you today, I use them all the time when I play. I see professional players use them all the time when they play and it works. So let's get started. First move I wanna talk about, and I always start with this one because it's the most basic, is just the skip, okay? So you're dribbling out to the defender and you skip out of the way. It's a touch to the side and skip out of the way. Okay, don't get it confused. I'm not just pushing it with the outside of my foot and dribbling past him. I'm cutting to the side and then moving forward. Okay, so it's like Messi cutting inside, touch with the outside of your foot, dodge the defender, and then keep going. Next move is croquetta or inside outside. Okay, so I'm coming at the guy from one foot to the other. And this is really good in tight situations. The guy's closing me down, I got nowhere to go. It's just one foot to the other right foot to left foot, or left foot to right foot. Okay, it's that quick touch. And it's not, again, it's not a touch forward past the defender's foot. It's across your body and forward. Next move is a body feint. So not a step over. We'll do that one after, but just a simple body feint. So I'm coming out of the defender, fake this way, cut that way, fake this way, cut that way. And you might be stuck on the spot sometimes, one-on-one -on -one position, okay? Sell them that way with your body and cut the other way. Good, next one is a step over. So step over is the same thing as the body feint. You really gotta sell these. So I'm not just, I'm not just like this. I'm not just putting my foot around the ball, okay? With my body, with my movement, with my eyes, my head, throw him that way, go the other way. I know I want to come into this space. I'll push him there and come the other way. And the fifth move I wanted to use is like a cut, inside cut, but a fake shot or a fake pass. Okay, so again, just like the skip we started with, you can use just a cut, coming out of the guy, cut one way and go. Just use your pace, cut one way and go, kind of like a croquetta, except a little more direct. That'll work if you do it with speed, but to sell it and make it more realistic, I want to open up my body, like I'm passing to a guy or taking a shot, and then that cut is coming forward. So let me come again, see from this angle. I'm opening up like I'm gonna take a shot. Defender goes to block the shot and you just cut past him. The whole C parts and you just walk right through the middle. Okay, so here, cut. Yeah. Good, and you'll have to practice these moves. So I just wanted to demonstrate those for you. Now I'll show them with a little more speed and purpose.
just a few more bonus tips for you when you're taking on a defender. First thing I want to talk about is timing. So it's actually better for you to do your move too early than it is to do your move too late. Okay, so if you're worried about your timing and you're not getting your timing right, try performing your move a little bit earlier, especially when the defender is coming at you, okay? The other thing I wanna talk about is, especially like I just said, if that defender is coming at you, most of us are thinking like, oh, I gotta make a move. I have to do a step over, a couple step overs to beat this guy. The truth is, if you can touch the ball into that space and just use your acceleration, you don't even need moves, okay? So really simplify your dribbling. Think about Messi, Di Maria, think about the best dribblers in the world, Robin. For some reason, they're all left-footed. Okay, how do these guys dribble? Where, where are the moves? There's no moves. They just find the space and dribble there quickly, okay? So like I said, if a guy's coming to close you down, the best thing to do might just be put it into space and quickly accelerate. Okay, so think about those two things. Timing, it's better to do the move early rather than late. And sometimes you don't even have to complicate it. You don't even have to do a move. Just dribble into that space. Make it simple, make it easy for yourself. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you have a little more confidence in one-on-one -on -one situations after watching this. Remember, it's so important that these moves that you're practicing or these moves that you wanna learn you actually try them in the games. A lot of us out there, we're so afraid of failing, we're afraid of embarrassing ourselves that we never even try. And the truth is, if you never try, you'll never learn, you'll never grow, you'll never become better. So don't be afraid of making a mistake. In fact, it's better if you make mistakes. It's better if you take a player on and he tackles you. At least you can learn from that instead of always turning and passing the ball. If you know in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you should take this guy on right now, do it without hesitation. Just stick to the principles we talked about in this video. Number one, keep it simple. Use simple, effective moves like we just demonstrated that will actually work in the game. And sometimes the best move is just putting it past the guy and using your speed. Now you may not be a fast player or the fastest player, but use whatever speed you have. If you do your move quickly without hesitation, you will get past that defender. And most importantly, try, have fun with it, okay? Don't overcomplicate it, keep it simple, be very direct, do not hesitate, and you're gonna be beating defenders on a regular basis. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, post a comment below, share this video with your friends and teammates, and if you appreciate my videos, please support me on Patreon. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.